I'm Ellen March, and I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and techniques for hooping your fabric for machine embroidery. Now, there are a lot of different stabilizers that you can choose from, and you want to be careful to choose one based on not only the fabric that you're using, but the technique that you're using with your embroidery machine as well. So there are fabric type stabilizers, there are paper type stabilizers, there are film type stabilizers. This one, you can see this is a cutaway variety and it's a little bit heavier weight. It's gonna stay with the fabric um, after the embroidery is complete. You just cut it away beyond the design perimeter. This is a film-like stabilizer and it's water soluble. So if you're doing an in-the-hoop embroidery um, or a freestanding lace design, something like that, where you want the stabilizer to wash away completely, that's where you would use this. It's also used often as a topper um, when embroidering high pile fabrics and it helps kind of control the nap of the fabric so that the stitches uh, sit nicely on the surface of the fabric. And another type of film-like stabilizer is heat away and that is removed with heat of an iron or heat from another source. And there's also a tearaway variety. And if you ever store your stabilizer without the packaging, uh, you'll remember the tearaway variety or know that that's what it is, uh, aside from a cutaway, because you can actually tear it away. There's also sticky backed stabilizer, and this is a tearaway variety also. So the top is gonna be sticky once the paper is removed, and the bottom will tear away once the embroidery is complete. So a couple of tips about hooping. You know, you can get stabilizer that is going to remain separate from the fabric. You can also get fusible stabilizer. And again, your choice is gonna depend on the technique that you're doing and I will show you how I hoop fabric for embroidery. This is just a basic cotton fabric and I have this cutaway variety with it. You're going to put the outer hoop on a flat surface, place your fabric over it, the inner hoop goes on top, and make sure that you've loosened up your little screw and you push both layers together as one. Now, if you have any kinds of lumps and bumps, like I sort of do here, you can see it's not taut, and if I go to tighten it, it still isn't going to get taut. Now, you want to avoid stretching the fabric once it's hooped like this, and your inner self is gonna wanna do this so bad. And although it looks taut, this is actually going to distort once you pop everything out of the hoop and you'll end up with puckers or just a bad embroidery result. So instead of doing that, you really just wanna take the time to re-hoop the fabric, making sure that it's taut the first time. And then you will tighten your little screw and each embroidery machine is going to be slightly different here as far as the hoop, but you're always tightening something to make sure that it's in here. Another thing I like to make sure of when I hoop fabric is when your hoop is in here, I push the inner hoop just slightly so that it extends beyond the hoop edge ever so slightly. And it just gives you a little bit more tautness inside of the hoop so that it's ready for stitches. Now there are some instances where you do not want to hoop the actual fabric. And I'll show you why. So this is a plush fabric. It has a little bit of a nap to it. It's uh, stretchy and I've hooped it and I'm going to show you why that's not a good idea. When I pop this out of the hoop, it has what we call hoop burn. And these marks actually will not come out of the fabric. You can try steaming it from the wrong side. You can try a, a variety of different techniques. I've heard of wetting the fabric with some kind of starch um, and then pressing it. But you've actually marred the surface of the fabric and you'll have, no matter what, this slight little echo of a hoop uh, so in this case, we're going to do what's called hoopless embroidery. And that is where we're going to use the sticky backed stabilizer. Now, you're gonna hoop the paper side up. 
and all we're hooping is stabilizer, no fabric. And again, we're gonna do the same thing we did with fabric. Get it in the hoop. Make sure the stabilizer is taut, tighten her up. And then we're actually gonna score the paper within the hoop. You can do this with a pin. I like to do it with just scissors. Make sure that you don't go all the way through the stabilizer. Just score it very lightly. And then you're gonna get in here and lift up just that paper to expose the adhesive inside of the hoop. And once you have that, you can place your fabric over the stabilizer and it will still be nice and taut for embroidery. This is a great technique to use if you're embroidering um, anything that can't be hooped, including like the collar of a shirt or you know a cuff of a shirt that's already made. One more tip for this type of stabilizer is that it's easily reusable, which we love, right? So while your stabilizer is still in the hoop after you've embroidered a design, it's tear away, like I said. So you can actually tear away just beyond the design perimeter. And here I have kind of an older one that I've used. And you can see it tore away right beyond the stitches that I had. So I can take and make a little patch out of what is left here and actually stick it over there remove the paper again, and now I've got almost a brand new embroidery, or brand new stabilizer sheet to work with. So that's a really cool way to get just more life out of your products. I hope you enjoyed, and now you're ready to embroider just about anything.